All right. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the live stream that I'll be doing right now for Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid from Renegade Games. As you can see, I did the all-in uh, the all-in package, and uh, this came in this very large box right here, which I'll get out of the way in a second. I believe this package weighs in at 23 pounds. Uh, as you can see, I have bundle five, which is the Morphin Master plus one dice pack. So that's an extra dice pack uh, in addition to the one that you get with the game. I'll show those off in a bit. And yeah, I saw other people that have the Morphin Master plus two die, all of that stuff. So um, it's very cool that Play Renegade went out of their way to do specific SKUs. I mean, that's probably the only way that they could uh, take care of all the shipping for this. So it was a massive box. I got this shipped to my work on Monday. Again, this is like 10 kilograms or 23 pounds. So massive box right here, which I will just toss to the side and... There you go. So uh, this is everything. I hope you guys can hear me. Uh, yeah, as you can see, this is everything in the all-in package. And I'm just kind of checking the, uh, whoa, don't want that. I'm checking their Kickstarter uh, just as a reminder as when I'm unboxing this. Uh, everything that's going on in this. So you get, obviously, you get the main game. You get the Shatter Grid expansion. This box alone has all of the Kickstarter exclusives, including uh, the White Ranger uh, Green with Evil pack, as well as the White Light pack. In addition to the Morphin Master, you get uh, the Megazord over here, Cyclopsis, you get villain pack number one, as well as the foot soldier pack. And it all comes with a set of dye, which was an upgrade. These are crystal clear in different colors. And because I ordered an extra set, I got two of those. So both of those were in the box. Uh, very nicely packaged. Just very well done from Renegade Games. And... I've done pre-stream, I've done all of the work to take the shrink wrap off, so uh, none of that for this stream. But this will be the first time I'm actually opening these up in person, so I really hope you guys enjoy my reactions to that. I'm very excited. I know there was some people saying that uh, their Green Ranger's arm was off, a couple people had missing pieces. I know the White Ranger cards were affected. They did not have the shield printed on them. These are all issues that Renegade Games is going to be um, completely fixing through customer service. And hopefully I don't have anything missing or damaged here, uh, but we'll check that out. So yeah, this is everything. And I want to start off with the, oh wow, these are all very nice and heavy. So I want to start with the main game. Let me just get these out of the way first. And yeah, I've got my mouse here. I've got all of my setup here. And if you guys have any questions, uh, let's save them towards the end uh, so I can double check them in the chat. Uh, Cyclopsis, there's the Megazord. Here's the die. All of that out of the way. And first off, this is what everyone gets no matter what pledge level. This is the main game. All of these expansions and all of these uh, expansions and packs, they can only work with this game. And they make that very clear uh, on the packaging. It says requires Power Rangers Heroes of the Grid to play. Um, one thing that struck me was just the sheer amount of artwork that is on all of these packs. I think most of this artwork is by Dan Mora, not only from the comics, but he did new art specifically for this game. 
uh, not only the box art, but as well as the art cards as well. And then I noticed that there is some, I know um, uh, Goni Montez did some of these Zord pictures. So the majority of the artwork is from artists who have worked on the Power Rangers comics. Again, those are highly recommended. So we'll be doing that. So first off, Heroes of the Grid, the main game, a uh, fantastic shot of the entire Mighty Morphin team on the front and the sides. And then on the back, you get everything you see here to play a base game of Heroes of the Grid. So let's just open this up. And again, all the shrink wrap is off. And as I jiggle here and try to take these out. But I do want to say that the packaging is very well designed. Um, one of the upgrades for the packaging was unlocked in the Kickstarter, and that included uh, some nice shiny spot gloss on this. And you can probably see it reflected in the light once I get this cover off, holy cow. Um, you can see that a nice reflective uh, spot gloss on the characters, if I can catch a reflection there. So that is that. This is the main game. So we have the rule book, which I know they're doing some uh, updates for. Um, Renegade Games, uh, all of their other games that they have. Power up your game with all of the different uh, expansions, which if you were more from Master, you get all of that. And also on the back... Uh, the comics, which some of this stuff is based on, and Hyperforce and all that stuff. So right off the bat, here is a couple or some of the play mats. The artwork on these is really great. I love the design of these. You got the morph tokens. I really have not kept up with all the rules of the game, so this will be a learning experience. I do want to note that uh, on a future edition of Ranger Command, probably either a live stream or a video. Uh, I've been talking with James and Nicole from Mostly Speaking Sentai. We'll probably do a sleepover at my place at some point. And along with Teresa, we will play the game. So you will see a four-player game uh, in the future. Uh, I know Zach, from, uh, also from Ranger Command, I, he's in the process of moving, and his game is in Florida. But once we, he gets the game, I'm sure we'll set up some kind of maybe a two-player stream. So just more and more cards all through here. We got the industrial district, uh, two sides. I believe that's when the location goes panic. We've got Ernie's juice bar, which is very nice. And then we've got the main board here, which just came off. Uh, this is for the Megazord card. And wow, now we're really getting into it. Oh, this is nice. They include Ziploc bags for all of the game pieces here. That is actually really appreciated, and I'm really glad that they included that. Wow, so some of my pieces are, are falling out, but uh, we'll just remove these trays as they come out. Um, wow, this is really a lot of stuff oh there's tape what did i do with my exacto knife here it is all right i'm very impressed with the size of these figures and that was one of the main things that they stated in the kickstarter that compared to other uh, tabletop games this would be um all of the pieces would be a little bit bigger than standard. And to note, I've never bought a game like this. I've never bought something, uh, let alone over $250 for a game, but I've never done any of the tabletop RPG stuff before. So I'm really excited to dive into this game uh, once you know everything uh, gets unpacked here and I learn the rules a bit. So... This is all of the putties. We've got super putties, regular putties, and all of these pieces are designed to be painted. And that is all of that. Wow. Okay, we've got 
We've got more dye here. I believe this is for uh, Rita Repulsa. We've got we've got two different card packs, location cards. We've got enemy cards, and we got the ranger cards. And wow! So let's see what we got here. So uh, wow! Okay, there is a lot here. So. Yeah, we've got all of the different rangers, and the rangers are molded in their colors. Uh, the sculpts on these are really nice. I think these look fantastic. Uh, we've got Rita Repulsa right here. Oh, wow, this is, this is a really beautiful sculpt. I'm actually really looking forward to painting all of these. Uh, I've done modeling in the past. I've built models. I've painted models. I've never painted miniatures before, but I do have experience with that type of paint and priming and all of that stuff. So I'm definitely looking forward to starting this project and uh, really making these pieces shine. Um, yeah, we've got a whole bunch of guys. Um, so we've got Madam Woe, obviously. Um, very nice. And I never expected that we would get any kind of figures from uh, from from these, so this is this is really nice. Uh, of course, we've got Pudgy Pig. Pudgy Pig is big and bulky, like you expect. I love that he's got the huge uh, fork and knife. This is really cool. Uh, that was one of my favorite. Uh, episodes when I was a kid watching Mighty Morphin. Of course, you've got Nasty Knight here. I believe he briefly made an appearance in the comics, also in addition to the show. Very cool. Uh, and of course, we've got Bones. So Bones is here in all of his glory, too. So for a base game, I think this is pretty neat. All of the cards, all of the artwork, uh, very nice stuff. And I'm really curious to see how this interacts with all of the other um, expansions here. So let me put this aside and we'll get back into it. But on first glance, nothing appears damaged. All of these look really nice. I'm really digging the really deep blue for Billy. Uh, this is just a really fantastic looking sculpt. And yeah, so if you missed out on this uh, campaign, I know that there are some game shops that participated in the program to um, have that at their store. So if you have a local game shop, I would suggest to contact them if you want a game like this with all the expansions. I know they're selling it. They're out there. Uh, if it's not out already, I think they were shipping to all the Kickstarter first. Um, but there is an opportunity if you still want this game. I know they're selling stuff on the site. And in addition, um, they have a Renegade Games website exclusive, which is the Bulk and Skull uh, Rangers expansion pack. I already have that on pre-order. They sold limited amounts at San Diego Comic-Con uh, the past couple weeks. So uh, very cool um, and just a very tight fit on this box. That is the main game. The main game is really cool. It looks awesome. I'm excited to play that. So that is that. I will put that to this side and cover up some stuff here. Um, so next up, if you went all in, uh, let me just get, let's just dive into the Megazord pack. So we've got the Megazord, we've got Cyclopsis. Uh, these are the ultimate uh, Zords that go with the game. I know in the main game, even though they don't have a Megazord piece, uh, there is like a Megazord card. But with this, you can add the Megazord to that sequence. So, yeah, I'm just, I really like that all the packaging is tight. It's just really bad on stream. Maybe I should have pre-opened these as well. Um, but 
any questions you guys have in the chat so far, uh, let me know because I've got my tablet right here. So yeah, um, we definitely plan to play this game. Uh, it won't be on the podcast itself because this is a really a visual game. So this will be on our YouTube at some point. Uh, again, it's very early stage planning with James and Nicole from Mostly Speaking Sentai. Definitely check them out. It's a fun show. They just started Car Ranger uh, in their next Sentai offering. So, and shout out to everyone in the chat so far. We got Steve, Christian, Jay, um, Steve Martinez, all you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And this is it. This is the Megazord figure. I am really impressed by the size of this figure and all it really includes is the figure so um you just upgrade with this miniature and that's it all the cards for it are in the main game this is just a visual awesome statue uh that you can add to the game and let me just take this out I'm not going to take it up. That's more tape. But I am really impressed by the size and weight of this figure. I love that the sword is separate and that you can add it to the arms. There is an arm hole there for the sword. Uh, that's going to be great for painting this separately. I really love the detailing on this thing. This is really incredible. So... Definitely a really cool thing. Again, I think you can purchase this stuff at Renegade Games. If not, talk to a local game shop. Um, and there you go. So that is the Megazord figure. I bet Cyclopsis is more of the same. But again, gorgeous artwork of Cyclopsis. He was not in the comic. So this is all new artwork by Dan Mora. It looks fantastic. And then... This one is different from the Megazord because this actually has the figure, the deployment card, the six enemy cards, six component cards, and one rule sheet if you want to add Cyclopsis to the game. So this should be packaged a little bit differently with the cards and everything else. Uh, we've got little instructions, uh, what each of the cards do how you deploy him and all of that fun stuff. And holy cow, I think Cyclopsis is even larger than the Megazord in terms of bulk and weight. Uh, this is really cool. And all of the cards, again, you get a stack of cards. I'm not going to go through all the cards. That's something you guys should look out for yourself. But Cyclopsis is mean and big and in charge. And th I, this is the first time that Cyclopsis has ever been in a merchandised item for Power Rangers. Uh, he never got a toy. There's never an action figure of him. So this is it. Uh, really cool. Really cool. I love this. He's got the arm blades. Wow, the design is really fantastic. And one of the fun things I'm going to love doing with painting these is going back, watching those old episodes to get reference for the colors and all of that stuff. So uh, something that is really going to be really fun to do coming up. All right. Yes, there is um, the Kickstarter box. Yeah, I'll probably get to that next because I know people are asking about that. Um, I just want to get some of these smaller packs out of the way, like the Foot Soldier pack. And the Foot Soldier pack is going to have um, all the villains from not only the base game, but to add to Shatter Grid. Uh, so we got the three Putty Patrollers, three Super Putty Patrollers. Uh, those are in the main game. This is an expansion for that. We've got three Z Putties three Tango Warriors, and three Mastodon Troopers. And you can see all of them here. Uh, all of them look really nice. 
again, I'm just amazed at the detail of these. And I think, think one of my putties has a smudge on it. But again, any damage I'm going to attribute to battle damage and paint them accordingly. So uh, this is really cool. Uh, again, this just adds to your game. Uh, there were some people that were saying that they're going to paint their putties alternate colors, like some based on the toys. I, I think one person said they were going to uh, recolor five of them for like Commander Crayfish's uh, clones of the Rangers. I think that's a very unique idea. And I love that people are getting creative with painting their miniatures. There's a lot of great stuff on the uh fan page for Renegade Games Heroes of the Grid. People are posting their painting progress pictures, all that stuff. A lot of people are having fun. So definitely check out the group there. But yeah, this is the Foot Soldier pack. Uh, really glad I got, well, I'm glad I got everything. Uh, but it's, it's really neat to see some of these things uh, come alive. So that is that put that to the side and then the villains pack so speaking of commander crayfish we got him right here along with master vile rita revolto and this dude i think uh sorry i'm not totally down on the name but yeah he's a dude I had it here. Yes, the villain pack. Sorry about that. Yeah, Paludicorn. So uh, here's the artwork on that. And what I love about the Dan Mora art for these is, again, these are characters that are in the show but have never appeared in the comics. So I really like that we're getting Dan Mora's takes on these classic villains, especially Master Vile. They've name-dropped him a bit in the comics, but uh, they haven't um actually debuted him in the comics so you get the two monster figures the two deployment cards the two boss figures and the boss figures are rita revolto and master vile uh Paludicorn and commander crayfish they are the monsters uh you get the deployment cards and 16 boss enemy cards so again this requires the base game to play and God, just looking at the sculpt on this is absolutely incredible. Uh, Rita Revolto is just a boss in this. And Master Vile, I know I'm pretty far away from the camera, but I'm telling you, these are really amazing sculpts. And the renders do not do these justice. I think these are really awesome. So, again... Very cool addition to the game. And then before I get to Shatter Grid, I'm actually going to do uh, the Kickstarter exclusive, which uh, is what a lot of people want to see how they packaged it. I'm curious to see how they packaged it, especially with the green with evil and all of that stuff. Um, yeah, this is, this is amazing artwork of Goldar. Uh, we've got... Ranger Command's favorite pal, Robo Goat. And we've got Pumpkin Wrapper, obviously. We've got Primator right on the side here. And we've got a great shot of Rita and the henchmen. Very awesome. And on the bottom here, we've got Primator uh, doing the uh, clone ranger type attack. And that is really cool. Uh, really great. I know you guys can't see this, but um, if you can see it in the reflection, there's a very nice uh, dot pattern for spot gloss. And all of this stuff includes all of the unlocked stretch goals. So this should have Finster. This will have uh, Wizard of Deception, uh, six more Putty Patrollers, uh, the Pumpkin Wrapper, the Retro Ranger cards. It will have um, the hero Green Ranger instead of the Green with Evil version. Uh, six more Tangas. Uh, we get the Red Ranger with Dragon Shield, Robo Goat, uh, the double sided Command Center that's in the main game. Uh, six more Super Putties, 
Hero Ranger Slayer. I think that's in Shattered Grid. Uh, we got Primator, Rhino Blaster, Goldar Master, Miniature and Cards, um, and All the Love, which is for the whole game. Uh, that's the UV box finish, the backer's choice vote, uh, which I believe was Hyperforce, uh, all that stuff. The Green Ranger and White Ranger retro cards. I, Guy, should be in this. Six more Z putty controllers, putty patrollers, Aisha, Adam, Rocky, and Cat Ranger character cards, and the Lauren Sheba Red Samurai Ranger, which will be in the Shattered Grid. So that is a mouthful. Here we go for... The weight of this box should just lift that lid right up. But that's what I like about the quality of this. It's nothing feels cheap here. Like all the box feels great. All of this feels amazing. And this is, okay, there we go. Got to release the air from that. Wow. And then you get even more art. There's Eye Guy. There is Ranger Slayer. There is Red Ranger with Dragon Shield. And we've got Green Ranger kicking the butt out of a Z putty. How is that for amazing, amazing artwork? So, new location cards. You've got the shopping mall. You've got the dockyard. Because every Ranger fight is in a dockyard. Uh, you got the power plant. So, the Dragon Zord can chomp on those smokestacks. And this fell through, but any, any decent ranger fight takes place in a stone quarry, so you've got that, and holy crap, there is a lot, literally a lot to unpack here. Um, so the top row features Rita Repulsa in her, um, her comic battle form. We've got Lord Zed, we've got the White Ranger, We've got Scorpina, I believe that's Scorpina, yeah, Scorpina, and we got the Green with Evil Green Ranger. Here is the extra putties, the extra, um, these, yeah, those are the extra putties, the extra super putties. So that is just like, oh my God. Okay, I guess I'm taking the whole thing out. Sorry about this, guys. Uh, but again, great packaging that they did here. And I will briefly cut these open. I'm just really impressed with the amount of figures that is included in these sets. It's a real testament to the amount of planning that they did for this game. I'm just really impressed by it. So uh, right off the bat, wow, and holy cow, there is a ton here. Okay, uh, yeah. White Ranger, all the putties, like I said. Uh, Scorpina looks fantastic. Lord Zed looks incredible. The war version of Rita looks great, just like she did from the comics. Really enjoy all of that. So the second level has uh, trays of all the bonus, um, all the bonus dudes. Let me put uh, Ranger Slayer Kim back in here. Wow, this is really great. Um, yeah, all of the cards are in here. Um, yeah, all the cards, Wizard Deception, we got all the tokens here, all of the cards. So this is uh, the second layer, and there it goes, all of them. Uh, yeah, there are trays where all of the grunts uh, are lined up, and it wasn't taped, so there you go. Um, my God, this is probably the most Tangas that I've ever seen. I'm, wow, I'm definitely going to have to count uh, just to make sure that I got everything in this set. Wow, that's, it's just a lot of, a lot of figures. Uh, you can build many waves. I don't even know if you can battle that many minions. Um these are all the Z putties. I think when I paint these, I'm definitely going to do some variants. Um, I think it'll add a little bit more texture to the game instead of, you know, all the Z putties looking one way. Um, I'm definitely going to mix it up a bit, I think, 
just because of all these extra putty figures, um, you can really make whatever story that you craft when you're playing. I think that's a, a great idea. So I'm going to put that up here. And then this, this is where the main stuff is going down. And let me put that back in its thing. Wow, this is really awesome. So, oh, no, Alpha. Ay, ay, ay. All right. So these are very uh, loose right now in their little things. Um, but this is incredible. We've got Goldar. He is a massive boss figure. This is really incredible. We've got the hero Green Ranger, Red Ranger with Dragon Shield, Ranger Slayer, Pumpkin Wrapper, Robo Goat. We've got the uh, Alpha 5, Wizard of Deception, Rhino Blaster, Primator, Eye Guy. And yeah, these are these are freaking incredible. I love these. And there's the Green Ranger. Uh, so all the detail looks to be there. My Green Ranger isn't missing a figure, a uh, hand or anything. So I uh, really dig the Green Ranger figure. That is really, really awesome. Um, Alpha 5 looks great. Uh, Robo Goat, um, who is, I guess, now the unofficial mascot for Ranger Command. Um, I really dig that he has his staff. God, just the level of detail is just so amazing for this. Uh, I, I love all of them. Um, I Guy, which uh, I think they got a lot of requests for, and they didn't know how they were going to pull it off because, you know, he looks like a guy made up of a bunch of balls. So, um, no, but they made it. All the pupils are pre-drilled. This guy still freaks me out to this day. Uh, Primator looks freaking incredible. Um, just a big hairy ape dude. His tail is there. Uh, Rhino Blaster looks great. All of them look freaking amazing. I love Goldar. Goldar is an incredible size. And as I drop him and fling him away, I, I just, these pieces are so great. Love, 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 love this. And I'm just really excited for any future expansion that they decide to do. Um, I'm really looking forward just to play the hell out of this game. I know that there are many different scenarios that you can choose from. Uh, there's uh, a ton of rangers you can be, a lot of enemies to fight. Uh, it's just going to be a massive... Uh, really cool game to play and I'm really looking forward to it. Um, I know people have been saying, Oh, well, I, I got the game. I supported it. Um, but I really have no one to play it with. Well, I think there's going to be some innovative ways people will come up with to play it online. Um, also just check if you have a local, uh, game shop by you. See if you can request like uh, some kind of tournament or have them fit you into the schedule in some way. I'm sure that people can fit you in. I know there's a game store uh, by me that I haven't been to yet, uh, but it is close to me. And I've never been inside, but I'm willing to go there, check it out. But see if there's a game shop or a comic shop that hosts games by you. If you have the game, I'm sure they'd... Uh, love to have you play it. Otherwise, if you got the game for another reason, if you're not going to play it, if you just want all the incredible figures and consider it like a modeling challenge, um, I, that I, that's what that's half the thing of why I'm excited to do it is to get back into uh, scale modeling, painting, and really get into this game. So I'm really excited to finally see these in person. I think the sculpts are amazing. And before I ramble on, I'm going to get to what I think is the most exciting expansion, which is the Shattered Grid expansion. That includes uh, Hyperforce, which uh, I know some people have slept on, um, but that is an incredible uh, thing that has gone on to go into the comics, into this game. They've gone into Legacy Wars. Um, so, yeah, just uh, 
a lot of different stuff here. Wow, just this is a massive package. And again, what I just showed off right here uh, was the Kickstarter backers exclusive. So I don't think uh, you could get this anymore. I think they might sell whatever remaining extras they have after all of them have shipped. So if you did miss out on it, see if you can pick it up on their website. Just scour their website and go for from there. So I will just stack these here and then get to Shattered Grid. And now my space is a lot more open. All right, this is it. Shattered Grid. It's here. Shattered Grid includes seven Ranger figures, the character cards, 70 combat cards, 12 foot soldier figures, 10 foot soldier deployment cards, 10 foot soldier enemy cards, two monster figures, uh, two monster deployment cards, 16 monster enemy cards, one boss figure, one boss deployment card, eight boss enemy cards, three location cards, and eight Zord cards. Again, this adds the Hyperforce Rangers. This adds Jen Scott, Time Force Pink. This adds Lauren Sheba, uh, Red Samurai Ranger to the grid. Uh, this also has Lord Dragon. It's got the Black Dragon. It's got the Corrupt, oh wow, Corrupted uh, Ranger Slayer, which, yep, Corrupted Ranger Slayer, she's here. And of course, uh, the entire Hyperforce team. I am really excited for this. Um, oh, wow. And this is all new Hyperforce artwork by Dan Mora. Uh, they appear briefly in the comics, but all the cards are going to have their attacks. Uh, it's going to be really cool. So I am really excited for Dan Mora's art on this. Uh, Hyperforce is a pretty cool team. I hope they do season two at some point. They've been uh, pretty much avoiding that question. Uh, again, uh, you can power up your game with all the different expansions. Hey, want to know what Shattered Grid's about? Why don't you read about it? Uh, introduction to everything and what the cards are. We've got all the Ranger figures. Oh, so the monster figures are Black Dragon and Ranger Slayer. That's who they consider the monster figures. Boss figure, of course, is Lord Draken. So, again, we got the Renegade Games uh, booklet here. All right. So, the base card. Oh, wow. This is actually really cool. So, first we got the Zord Graveyard, which was seen in the comics. And the base card is actually the, the Time Force uh, base. So, you've got uh, the Time Force Time Gate in there. That is really awesome, and everything is falling out, so that is cool. Um, I thought it said three location cards. Uh, we got the Resistance Hideout. That's for the coin list. And am I supposed to have something else in here? Uh-oh. Oh, nope. Those, those are all the location boards. And here we go. This is, uh, there's Hyperforce, there's all this stuff. Uh, let me let me check this out. So yeah, we've got Black Dragon, we got Hyperforce Red, Hyperforce Yellow, uh, Time Force Pink. Uh, all the Hyperforce characters have their weapons, which is really cool to see them in physical form. Uh, we got a crap ton of Macedon sentries. It's all here. I love the Time Force Pink. Uh, card right on the front, all of the character cards, and that is Shattered Grid. Wow. I just love the detail on these. Ranger Slayer is amazing. Wow, this is just, this is really, really cool. I love the Lord Draken figure. It is his base version. He is super muscled up, uh, really crazy proportions. Wow, I just, I really love this expansion. This is really great. And that is a lot of stuff here. So um, 
in the chat. If you guys have questions, uh, let me know now as I kind of summarize everything that you've seen here from the Kickstarter. So uh, there was a ton of stretch goals. So um, anyone who pledged at the base level got the base game plus the alpha figure. If you did, it's Morphin Time Power Up. You got the base game, the Alpha 5 figure, and all of the Kickstarter exclusive goals. If you went the Power Go Go Power Rangers level, uh, you got all the unlocked stretch goals, uh, the White Ranger and Green Ranger pack. Um, so again, I think you got one of these too, uh, but you also got uh, the Rita Repulsa. And then the All In pledge, you get everything here. Um, yeah, it's just pretty sweet. Um, I know they said, I thought they said you get like a deluxe storage box, but I think that just might be the, the base level. So it's Morphin Time powered up. You got all of the stretch goals that we talked about here. Yeah. So this is the deluxe storage box right here. Uh, I'm sure once you take out all the plastic trays, put them in their separate bags, you can probably fit everything in here. Uh, it's it's a lot of figures. I just, I love all the artwork. I don't know where I'm going to display this, but, you know, once I figure out all the painting, I'll uh, I'll get to that. And, yeah, the Go Go Power Rangers level, uh, the Green with Evil expansion, again, the Tangas, the Location Board, uh, Scorpina, the Evil Green Ranger, uh, White Light came with Lord Zed and the Z Putties, uh, plus Alpha 5, and of course the White Ranger. And then again, the Morphin Master, you get all of that. So definitely check out uh, Renegade Games. Um, if you have, if you're still on the fence, I would say act soon to get these. And now I will, um, now I will be taking uh, chat. Sorry, as I get set up here, but yeah, Shattered Grid expansion. That was the one I was looking forward to the most. It looks amazing, and I forgot to put the boards back in there. But uh, yeah, this is just an incredible set. I really love everything that's going on with this game. And then now I will answer your guys' questions for about uh, five or so minutes. I want to thank everyone for participating and viewing on the stream. It's very much appreciated. Uh, thank you guys also for listening to Ranger, Ranger Command Power Hour, iTunes, Stitcher, all that good stuff, uh, Spotify now. Uh, you can listen to us on Amazon Alexa if you want to. I probably just triggered someone's thing. Um, but, yeah. Uh, rangercommand.com is where you can find all that. Uh, definitely support us there and stay tuned for more streams like this. I know at some point we'll be playing this game. So let me get to some of your guys' questions. Um, okay, Christian says, how are you playing or who are you playing as first? That is a very good question. I might actually go for Hyperforce Blue or uh, maybe Hyperforce Yellow. Uh, I definitely want to play as uh, one of those guys first. As to how I'm going to play it for the first time, I really want to read over all of the rules and maybe play a two-player game with Teresa or before we record our stream with James and Nicole, we'll probably figure out all the rules, maybe do a play test first before we do an actual recording. I don't know. Uh, I'll figure that out. So, um, so Steve F. asked, what were you most excited about on this Kickstarter? So what I was most excited about on the Kickstarter was seeing the stretch goals continue to unlock. I know from the beginning, I wanted to get everything. So I went all in onto the pledge. I knew that I had to have everything. I really wanted to support this game. 
Uh, this is probably the coolest thing game-wise that we've ever got from Power Rangers, and I really wanted to support it as much as possible. So any future expansions? I know they said there, that was vil Villain Pack Volume 1. Well, I hope they do Volume 2. I would love to see the other characters that are fan favorites and polls that they might do in the future. So I'm very excited for any future expansions of this game. Um, uh, Steve asks, have you thought about maybe doing custom figures or rules? I don't even know what the base game is at this point. Um, in terms of custom figures, I may look into doing that uh, into the future. Maybe I might do some kind of, maybe a Shadow Ranger and create my own cards. Uh, I am a graphic designer by trade, so it would be cool to replicate what the cards look like, maybe pull some artwork from the comics, and maybe somehow do a 3D printed uh, figure. That would be cool. I know that's what they did for the prototypes when they showed these off at Power Morphicon. So definitely uh, looking forward to that. Uh, any questions, just, uh, just to ask away, guys. Otherwise, I will close this out. Um, but yeah, there's a uh, uh, common Ranger Bansett was Pumpkin Rapper included in this all-in set. He is. He's in the Kickstarter pack. Um, he is there. Uh, Steve said the smooth and mellow tones of Eric wandering past your ears and tickling your back brain. Well, I appreciate that. <laughs> um, yeah, so if there are no more questions, uh, maybe I'll give a couple more minutes for that. But overall, just I haven't gone through all the cards. I wasn't going to do that on this stream. I just wanted everyone to check out my initial reactions I think this game is awesome. Uh, I haven't played it yet, obviously, but uh, the sculpts alone, I feel uh, very justified in my purchase to go all in. I really love the box art. I really love the quality that Renegade Games has put forth into uh, not only working with Hasbro and Saban Brands when they made the transition. I'm just really excited for uh, these figures, and as someone who likes to paint model kits and stuff, I haven't done that in a while, but um, I'm really looking forward to detailing these figures, doing some washes on them, really bringing out the detail that you might miss on the model. So for me, that is going to entertain me far more maybe than the game itself, um, just painting all of these. Uh, I can't wait till I, I do that. That might be a fun winter project or maybe late summer project as I do want to play this game pretty soon. Uh, it's just, it's really cool. I love all the artwork. I'm a sucker for this kind of stuff. I think the comics and what Dan Mora has done through the various covers are amazing. I am really into all of this. Um, uh, question said, I'm so scared uh, to paint Hyperforce. Um, I, I wouldn't be. Uh, again, just have fun with it. And it's just paint. You can always uh, strip the paint away and start again. I think that's the great thing about these uh, model uh, kits. Um, yeah, so overall, I think Heroes of the Grid, just from receiving it, I think this is a pretty awesome thing. I'm really into it. Uh, Renegade Games has done a great job. Uh, I know some people were concerned about, uh, you know, their figures getting damaged. Um, if, again, if anything is damaged, just uh, contact their customer support, join their Facebook group. Uh, they're really great in answering questions there. And it's just, it's going to be a lot of fun. I think there's a huge community for this. There's already people doing custom game mats and custom uh, tokens and all of that stuff. So there's going to be, I think, a large community support for this. And of course, we got the expansions in the future with Vulcan Skull and any unannounced teams. I think at one point, I think they're going to do Zeo. I think Zeo won the fan poll for that. So 
uh, you'll get your Gold Ranger, you'll get your Zeo Rangers, and uh, that might be the next future one. So, everyone, thank you for tuning in. This has been Trucky B47 for Ranger Command Power Hour. Again, check us out at rangercommand.com for the podcast. Uh, we'll be having a new episode on August 10th. Look out for that. We'll be reviewing the next batch of Boom Studios Power Ranger comics uh, with some special guests. So tune in for that. This is Heroes of the Grid, and thank you for tuning in and watching. So I will check you guys later, and thank you again for watching.